Some new details on this breaking news coming out of Montreal. A priest was stabbed at a morning mass at St. Joseph's Oratory. Police do have a suspect in custody. Laura McQuillan is tracking other details. What more are you learning, Laura? Well, Sue Hannah, as we were talking about earlier today, this was all captured on a live stream. This mass was both live streamed online and people could watch it televised as well. And we do have video of what unfolded inside the church. I want to give you a warning. Uh, it is graphic. It's difficult to watch. We ha will not show you the parts where this attack actually occurs, but we want to be able to show you some of the scene as it was witnessed earlier this morning. So if we can show you that video, here is how it unfolded. A man approaches from the back of the church. He approaches the priest at the altar and we've cut the video there. You can see the priest on the right with the suspect still standing on the altar. The priest gets up by himself and we are hearing he has light injuries after what unfolded there this morning. In terms of the suspect himself, we do have a photograph as well of him being arrested by police outside the church and what we're learning about the suspect is that he's a 26 year old man who was known to police. Those are the details we've been able to confirm at this point. In terms of the priest, his name is father Claude grew and he's 77 years old he was leading that mass this morning when the attack occurred what we are hearing is that he has light injuries to his upper body he was taken to hospital by ambulance but he's in a stable condition he's conscious so that is some good news in all of this the suspect was subdued by congregants and security at the church before police arrived and he was arrested police saying that they intend to interview the suspect today and they're also interviewing witnesses right now outside the church so in that video, we did see uh, parishioners or people there in the congregation. It was an early morning mass, but are there eyewitnesses and are they talking? They are. So they are setting the scene of what unfolded. We could see a bit of it from the video, but they explained to us how it was very shocking, of course, but this moved very quickly and they didn't quite know what was going on as that man approached the front of the church. Uh, but one woman did tell us what she saw as the attack unfolded, and here's how she explained it. I had finished my reading and we were just finishing the psalm and Père Grou was going to uh, go and read the gospel and uh, I saw this man coming quickly and uh, taking his uh, knife out and going straight for Père Grou and it was obvious what his intentions were so I left screaming to alert the security so as you hear there, the congregants really shaken by what they saw happen mm -hmm. this morning. Not just those inside the church, those who were also watching from home or elsewhere. This is, of course, the largest church in Canada. It's very significant for Quebec. And we're hearing from the church that they will keep their doors open today. They're going to continue their mass services because they want to be able to comfort their congregants after this really shocking incident that unfolded this morning.